Hello and welcome to BNC Sports. I'm James Hill. The sports community is also reflecting on Juneteenth. Here's what Atlanta Hawks interim head coach Nate McMillan told me about Juneteenth. Check this out. This weekend marks Juneteenth. When we think about the history of our nation and the concept of Juneteenth, uh, what goes through your mind? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, just the fact that we are just uh, really recognizing this uh, uh, this year is, is really shocking and uh, disappointing. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that, you know, there's been so many people to continue to fight uh, to bring uh, of the past, you know, of what has happened in this country uh, to black folks and, uh, you know, to uh, recognize that, you know, uh, President Biden to uh, recognize that day and make it a, a national uh, holiday, I, I think is great, you know, so, but it's, it's been too long uh, that a lot of these issues uh, that have happened in this country uh, is being brought to the attention of, uh, you know, the, the people here in America. All right, thank you, Coach. Sixers at Hawks, game six. Second quarter, watch Ice Trey Young canning three of his 34 points. Atlanta up by six. Third quarter, Seth Curry will pull up and drop in three of his 24 points. All good, 59-51 Philadelphia. Later, check out John Collins here, folks. The dunk of the game, boom, 68-62 Sixers. The big fella, Joel Embiid in the house. He helped the Sixers to the victory with 22 points. Philadelphia, 104, Atlanta, 99, your final. Game 7, Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern in the city of brotherly love. Also in action on the west side, Clippers hosting the Utah Jazz game six. Terrence Mann is the man in the zone. He scored 39 points and helped the Clippers knock off the Utah Jazz at Staples Center. LA Clippers 131, Utah Jazz 119, your final. The Clippers win the series, folks. Four games to two advancing to their first ever Western Conference Finals. LA Clippers at Phoenix Suns. Game one, Sunday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. All right, HBCU football. This is induction day for the Black College Football Hall of Fame class of 2021. Six of the greatest black college football players are all of all time are being enshrined. Folks, you are looking at six new Hall of Famers. Coy Bacon, the defensive lineman out of Jackson State. Greg Coleman, the punter out of Florida A&M. Jimmy Giles, tight end out of Alcorn State University. Mr. Winston Hill, the offensive lineman out of Texas Southern University. Roy Nell Young played safety and defensive back for the Alcorn State University Braves. And the coach, Willard Bailey, who you know from Norfolk State, St. Paul's College, and Virginia University of Lynchburg. Coach Bailey is a seven-time CIAA championship coach, the Black College Football Hall of Fame class of 2021. What a beautiful thing. Also, the HBCU football, the second annual Black College Football Hall of Fame classic featuring outstanding HBCUs. How about Grambling State University versus Tennessee State on September 5th, the kickoff 2021. The classic returning to Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio. BNC Sports is always your source for black college football. Finally, it's time for our BNC King of the Hill. He is one of the greatest icons in the world of tennis. Arthur Ashe is our BNC King of the Hill. Arthur Robert Ashe Jr. was born in Richmond, Virginia, July 10th, 1943, and he passed back on February 6th of 1993. Ashe is known as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. He also helped UCLA Bruins win the team NCAA Tennis Championship. Now, Ashe captured Grand Slam singles in the U.S. Open back in 1968 the Australian Open in 1970, and he captured Wimbledon in 1975. Ash became the first black tennis player ever, ever, ever selected to the United States Davis Cup. Arthur Ashe is a legend, and he is our BNC King of the Hill. We will be. 
right back with me and you together, James. <laughs> but it, it's a, I want to talk about the, the coach who brought up Juneteenth and just to hear so many people recognize the importance of this holiday um, because, again, it's historic, right? Definitely. You know, the uh, athletes are not exempt from the black experience. Yeah. So I had one gentleman tell me that when they leave the practice field, uh, they can't unzip their blackness. Uh, they can put their jerseys away, mm -hmm. but when they get in their luxury car and ride down the street, you know, they kind of uh, want to make sure they're safe and sound as well. So they definitely are, are thinking about uh, the struggles in this nation yeah. and in this country as we move forward. And we all look back to Texas mm -hmm. to that time when Juneteenth was definitely an instrumental day. And we pay homage to that on this day. Yes.